Welcome back to the channel. Uh, uh, today we'll be doing uh, triceps. Uh, triceps is, uh, I think people don't people don't work them enough because they think ah tricep work, tricep work. But uh, tricep work is important if you want to get that big French press. If, if you want to get that big bench press, triceps. The people don't want. Some people call them back arms. No triceps. We just want to call them triceps because they have three heads. So we want to make sure that we reiterate that the reason why we call triceps would have three heads. When you do triceps for people who have bench press, triceps is what tricep work is what gets you through the sticking points. A lot of people just get down here and they get stuck. That's because they they stuck. Uh, that's why you do the tricep work. Close grips, uh, cane mirrors, uh, heavy tricep pushdowns, dips. So the reason why we don't is to get past those sticking points. And again, I can't read it. I can't read. read, read reiterate enough to make sure that you get your protein in before you work out and get your carbs in before you work out. And again, what the protein does, the carb, the carb takes the protein to the muscle. It helps it grow the muscle. We get our, we grow when we're resting. So that's why it's so important that we get our, get our sleep at night and get our rest. At least we get anywhere between six to eight hours of sleep. Okay, a lot of people neglect that. And that's, that's not good if you, got, if you want to get gains, right? It's so important. You know, uh, try to give you to try to stay away from the sugar, right? What sugar does to our body when we're training takes strength from us, right? When we're doing this, we're trying to get strength, right? Our whole goal of doing this is to get power, right? Again, I'm uh, hope you're going any further. Can you please uh, subscribe and hit the like button for me, please? Please subscribe and hit the like button for me, please. Truly appreciate it. Thank you. But what we got to do is make sure that we want to get big benches, we want to get triceps, and like, like our women, right? They got that lot of stuff going on hanging up underneath the arms, right? We gotta cut that out. So we do the close grips and we do and we do some push down work. That's when we'll tighten up the muscle. But you have to take your protein. A lot of people tell me, oh no nah, man, I don't take protein, I don't take protein, I don't know it hurts in the stomach. They have all kind of protein out here now. They have organic protein, they have the uh, casein protein, right? All type of stuff not to hurt your stomach, right? So if, if, well, if you can't take the protein powder, Eat a peanut butter and jelly. Eat, eat a peanut butter sandwich. Uh, eat a tuna sandwich. Whatever you got to do to get that protein in your body. But you have to get it in. If your goal is to make muscle. Right? I see all these guys got here. They do all this cardio and cardio. And you see where oh, you, you, you do all this cardio, but you ain't got no, no muscle. You got, you got skin hanging. So you're not building muscle. So it's okay to do your cardio and stuff like that. But do, uh, do, do your tricep work. Do weight training. Right? You need the strength training. To help keep your bones from breaking, keep being brittle. Okay, let's get this work in. Let's get this workout in. Okay, and, and see why we're going. Today we're going to do close grips. Close grips very, very essential to the bench press. Everybody think you get a big bench by doing number chest, number chest, number chest. No, you have to get it by doing traps at work. Okay, so if you want that that power and that explosion, that punch, that punch, you got to get that punch right, and that's why you get to exploding. But you can't get it unless you do the tricep work. You can bench all day long. That bench is not going to go up unless you do some heavy, do some heavy tricep work. And for those who are just trying to be lean and, and look good, we got we got a trick for you guys too. Hit, this, hit light close grips. Hit light tricep pushdowns. High reps. That'll tone you up too. But you got to get your protein in. And we have to be consistent with this. Have to be consistent. You can't go around and tell me, I lifted, one, I lifted on Monday. I ain't lifting until next Monday. What are we doing here? You're wasting your time. That's how you're doing. Wasting your time. So let's get this piece in. Get this tricep work in. Today's close grips. Close grips and uh, tricep push downs, okay? You got different different variations of tricep push downs that you can do. You can do the V bar, you can do the ropes. You have different different variations of tricep push downs that you can do. Uh, also, some people do dips. Dips is good too, body weight. Be able to, some people can't lift their body weight. So the dips is also too. Simple push ups, right? Diamond push ups, hitting them pieces. Bow, 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 bow. That gets the tricep up, right? Try to gotta get these triceps up so we get thick and strong and powerful. The whole thing, that's why this whole thing is called glow power, right? We're all about power, right? For those for the for the for, for the high school student, for the for, 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 for the for the housewife, right? For the woman that's going to work, right? We want to look good in them dresses, right? We want them to be sleeveless and show them back arms, right? Not when you can't wear them, I can't show my arms today because I've got a little little little, little arm fat. No, we gotta tighten them pieces up. So you can't show them off when next summer to come, you show them the pieces off and you're looking pretty good out there, right? Hit them triceps, you know, some people, uh, take away your tricep, but 
Here's my tricep. I, 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 say, I say not bad for 260 pounds and a 59-year-old man. Let's get this piece. Let's go. Like, like I like to do, I like to, uh, I wear gloves, you know, I wear gloves and I like to put my, uh, my uh, elbow sleeves on just to, just to, just, just to protect my elbows. That's why you'll see me wearing my sleeves. I put my sleeves on just so I can protect my elbows. Um, you know, you want to protect your body and have longevity. I don't like to have injuries. If you have injuries, you can't train because you're hurt, right? And, you, and if you are hurting, a lot of times knowing me, I will work through an injury. So, you know, I don't want to have to work through an injury to where that I'm uncomfortable, right? So that's what's so important. Getting your workout in, being consistent, right? Watching your diet, that's so important. Everybody you know, ah, you know, and, and again, as I said earlier, try to stay away from the sugar, especially if you got goals to where you're trying to lose some weight. If you're trying to gain power, you can't gain power if you use that sugar. Sugar takes strength away, all right? So just remember that. If you want to drink them diet, them, them regular Cokes and all that kind of stuff, that sugar and all them, put all that sugar in your coffee and all that mess, that's not gonna help you when you train. Okay, so try to try to wean yourself from that. All right, try to wean, you, wean yourself from that. You wean yourself from that. Now, doing triceps, I always explain to people is that you want to make sure that your feet is always planted. Whenever you're doing a pressing movement, your feet want to stay planted. So you don't want to have must be trained, and all of a sudden your feet go up from you, and then you you can have an accident, right? Feet stay planted. Tricep work. You got lines on the bar, right? You got these lines on the bar. Your knuckles. My knuckles should be coming down on my chest to the nipple right there and explode back up. That's how you know you, you, you ain't close enough. Some guys come in with the wrist touching. You should never be doing close grips with the wrist touching. You, 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 you break your wrist like that. You can't put up strength like that. So you have, to, you have to make sure that we have your hands right. Form is always correct. Form is your technique got to be always right. Technique not right, you're going to have problems. That's how you get hurt, right? Take your time. Again. Leave your ego in the streets. Leave your ego in the car. When you come into a gym with ego, you get hurt. Stop watching people's bad habits in the gym. Be your own person. Learn, if you don't know some ass mind who knows what they are doing. Sometimes the trainers in there just keep this thing real. They don't know what they're doing either. But they took a little class somewhere, all right? I have over 40 some years experience in this, right? I started training, I was 11 years old. Started really doing all I was doing until I was about 17, 18 years old. When I was at the University of Nebraska, had, like I keep saying, had the best strength coach in the world, Coach Boyd Evans. I gave him his props. I sat down, I listened to this man, I watched him. And I watched all the different games everybody got in there. And I knew he had to be doing something right. You know, uh, the Dave Remingtons, right? The Dean Steinkuhls, right? The Mark Shalines, right? These guys were gaining, 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 gaining strength. And I said, no, but I can do the same thing. So that's what I did. I, did, I, I, I can do the same thing, but I had to put the work in. I saw them guys putting the work in. I wanted to be the same way. All right, let's get this first set in, all right? Remember, keeping your feet planted, your yeah, your knuckles, your hands right. Technique has to always be right. Your knuckles should be touching your nipples when you come down. The bar always has to be under control. Always under control. So you be down here, exploding. Boom, boom. That's what you want to do. You want to always be technique sound. Everything is technique sound because you don't technique sound. That's how you get hurt. Uh, again, before I work out, I like to have uh, protein powder in my in my drink. Protein powder, kale, three scoops, of, uh, three handfuls of kale, uh, beets, blueberries, half a banana, and uh, three scoops of uh, peanut butter. A mix of water or either diet diet cranberry juice, and that's why I use. I try to wait a little bit so, so, so that so the beets can get in my body, so that nitric oxide in the beets. You get that blood flow going, I get that pump. I don't like using that all, I see that stuff they have on, the pre-pump stuff they have um, in the market like that, you know. I don't use it uh, because I don't know what it's doing inside my body. So I'd rather use the natural stuff, like if you get these beets, beets are the same thing, you know, somebody got the beets powder, a little expensive. Uh, I would buy it, me and my son was using it, but uh, 
he started dipping in a little too much in the scoop. So I said, no, I gotta break this habit. I gotta get me some, some beets. We don't like the regular beets, so that's cool. So it's all good. Put the beets in the blender, put in the Ninja 1500, hit that piece and drink it. And that's what I, that's, that's what I go for in the morning. Uh, I try to get in four, four to five meals a day, uh, light meals. Um, I try to keep my calories in between 2,800, 3,000 calories a day. So that I keep my size. I don't try to go over that. Cause I know if I go over it, I'm be, no, I'm, no, too old for that. I'm gonna keep it to 2,800, 3,000 calories a day. Keep it there. Uh, some days I might, I might only get 2,200 calories in, you know? Uh, but I try not to eat a whole bunch of junk. I do uh, treat myself every once in a while to a cheap day. You know, I am from Camden. So uh, I will go out and get me a donkey's cheese steak. I, I'm gonna keep it real. Uh, and mess around, might, might jump over to the Panzerati shop. Get me a Panzerati, I sure will, keep it real. Uh, but uh, you know, I try to try to limit that kind of stuff, you know, like greasy food. Every once in a while, like I said, I do treat myself. And you can treat yourself. But if you don't treat yourself, you're gonna go around and wanna eat the whole damn house, right? So treat yourself, you get that urge, treat yourself, don't go overboard, do what you gotta do, and be done with it, and <laughs> hit these weights. And set goals for yourself. You have to set goals for yourself. If you don't set goals for yourself, is what? You're making a fool of yourself. Set goals for yourself. And it, 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 set them high, in between, but set, set goals. So you, you reach them goals, you say, no, I halfway reached it, right? Uh, everyone I pretty much train, most, I try a lot of, most of, a lot of athletes, or athletes, uh, football players, basketball players, whatever sport, uh, even housewives train them, right? And most of the athletes, uh, most of the bench, football players when bench press when they get over 300 pounds. There's not one, not, not one person I have trained of, of, a, of, a, of a male, male persuasion that have not uh, benched over 300 pounds. I have even had one women weighing 170 pounds or maybe less squatting over 400 pounds. Yeah, about technique, about being consistent. Let's get this next set in. Again. Keep your feet on the ground. Make sure your feet don't move. You don't want your feet moving and slipping and sliding like if you're doing, doing the moonwalk. This ain't Michael Jackson. Let's keep our feet still. Let's keep our hands right. Make sure your hands are right. Your knuckles should be coming down, touching your nipples, right? Down, explode. trying to do now is get that blood flowing in the back of my arms, right? You want to get that blood flowing in the back of your arms. We call them triceps. Some people call them back arms, right? But we want to get that blood flowing so we keep injuries from injuries, right? The blood's not flowing. You're going to start training heavy, you're going to hurt yourself. That's why it's so important. I see some guys coming to the gym showing off, warming up 225, whatever you want to do, and get hurt. Check your time and check your time Warm up properly, right? Get that blood flowing. Uh, whatever you gotta do, get the blood flowing. That's so important, right? So important that you come in lifting light so you get the blood flowing. Don't come up with the ego problem. When you come up with the ego, you will get hurt. And you'll be sitting on the sideline, either having surgery or being out. Then you can't train. So now you're falling behind. We wanna be consistent to where we can train, train, train. Once in a while, you might get a little tired, you might hit some dead ends. Cool. Take a day, take a break. Take a day or two off, right? Take a day or two off, get yourself together. I didn't say take two months off, a day or two off, get yourself together to, so, so, you be, so you can regenerate, right? Get your body right. Sometimes you're gonna be sore. Well, I always tell people when you get sore like that, take some vitamin C tablets or drink some orange juice, right? What the orange juice does, the vitamin C does, it kills the lactic acid in your body. So it cuts down on the soreness, right? But a lot of times with that soreness too, you just gotta fight through it. You can't say I can't train today, oh, cause I'm sore. No, we don't take, we know, no, no, you gotta train. You gotta break through that, it's mental toughness. You gotta break through that, no matter what in life, anything you're doing in life, whether it's being, being, being uh, a business woman, a business man, or athlete, or a cop, whatever, you have to be mentally tough. You can't let people tell me, tell you, oh, you can't do something. Yeah, you can do anything you wanna do, but your mind gotta be right. You have faith, you gotta have faith in yourself, right? You gotta believe in yourself. And that's why we do this training. That's why we do these weights. Number one, for our physical fitness, right? And number two, for our mental toughness, right? Weights help you mentally be mentally tough. Weights help when the training helps you have that self-esteem, knowing that you are great, knowing that you are the best. 
And I'm walking around looking up over 300 pounds and what? Come see me, right? That's the attitude we have to have. We have to have that type of attitude that I know I'm the baddest dude or the baddest woman in the house. I'm, the, I'm, I'm, I'm whether it's, uh, whether it's in, in, in business, in the business world, whether in the sports world, whether in the law enforcement world. That's how you have to think. Motiv you have to be motivated. You have to be, have self-esteem and know that you can do this, right? But if you don't have that motivation, if you don't have your self-esteem, why are we doing this? You're wasting your time. So get in the gym. You owe it to yourself to give yourself 45 minutes to an hour to train. And whoever can't understand that, who deal with that, can't deal with that, I think you need to put them to the side. You owe it to yourself. It makes you feel good. You feel good about yourself. That's what it's all about, feeling good. Mentally and physically. Right? So, let's get this piece in again. Uh, I like to warm up about 10, 15 reps. Get the blood flowing. Again, my feet staying sound on the ground. My, my technique coming down under control at all times. You want to stay under control at all times. Once you're out of control, once your hands is off, here we come with injury. When, you injure, when you're injured, you can't train. The whole reason why we're doing this is to train. We have to train. Like I said before, sometimes I get up 4 o'clock in the morning, it's to switch it up. So I can go to work and get that pump. You got that pump going to work. And you feel good about yourself. You're walking in the door and know I can take on anything. That's what it's all about. Being able to take on anything. No matter who or what. Let's go get it. No matter what age you are. If you, like I said yesterday, 15 to 80, 90 years old. If you still can train, you still got to be able to move, get up and train. You can do it. I don't care if it's lightweight. You can do lightweight, light bar. Just do some movement. Keep the body, keep the blood flowing. We have to do that. Once you sit down on that couch and sit still and make all kinds of excuses why you can't train, it's a problem. You're gonna have problems. The doctor gonna see you more than the doctor gonna see you more than you seeing yourself at home. Every time you have to be at the docs. Oh, I'm at the docs. This hurt. This ain't doing this. This ain't doing that. Uh, I try to get blood work four to five times uh, a year. Every four months I try to go get blood work just to see what's going on with my body. Again, men, women, men, make sure you go out and get your prostate checked, right? Go get your colonoscopies done, men. Go get your go go go, go get your um go get your um um endoscopies done. And again, men and women, the sleep apnea thing is real. Go to your nose and throat, inner nose and throat doctor, get that checked. Got insurance, go get to take care of that. Then let's know what's going on. Then you know what you have to do. That is the best sleep you can ever get. It's like taking that Michael Jackson juice. You feel so, man, you, still, I mean, you sleep so good. One time, I, I, I think the first time I ever slept for eight hours, I thought I was dead because I slept so well. Go get that sleep apnea test done. It's for real. Go get that piece done. Again, technique with sound, hands coming down, knuckles touching the nipples, right? That's the key. Uh, have any, 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 any questions with anything, uh, hit me, hit, hit me on the channel. Uh, I'll explain it to you. Uh, you have my email address. It's um, glowpowercmd at gmail.com, all right? Glowpowers, glowpowercmd send me to at gmail.com. Uh, but uh, we, we have to get it in, you know. Uh, like I said, I, I, I've i been doing this for a minute. I have, you know, I have, I know I have faith and ability to get anyone to the point where they need to get to, right? I, we, I don't need a fancy gym. That's nice if you got them, right? Make, fancy gyms look good, right? Make people want to come there. That's how they sell you, on the shiny new stuff. I'm just as old school as it gets. I have a son, he's 20 years old, bench of 350 pounds. Why? 200, and, he, and he's 200 pounds. Why? Because he's being consistent, right? He's doing what he's got to do, and he's listening. And he's listening, right? High school for high school senior football, high school senior playing football, he was 275, so 275 pounds. I said, bro, you ain't playing ball no more. You go to home, you go to school, bring that down, 
let's get this thing right, down to 200 pounds, benching 350 pounds. Why? Because it's being consistent in the gym, doing what you gotta do, not making excuses. Again, we don't take excuses in this house. No, no excuses. Once you start allowing excuses in anything in life, whether it's school, whether it's work, whether it's in the gym, next day you have another excuse. Next day you have another excuse. No, no excuses. Mentally sound, physically sound. Um, again, like I keep telling you, I'm, I, I, you know, I'm 59 years old. I don't, I don't feel 59 years old. I, what, what, what does 59 look like? What does 59 feel like? You begin your mental and say, "Oh, well, I'm getting old. I can't do nothing." Then you all feel that way, right? But if you got in your mind saying, "Hey, bro, I don't care who I am. I'm, I'm the best in, I'm, I'm the best in this room. I'm the best in this room." I like this. I like to do three sets. I like to do two sets of warm ups. We're gonna put on another. We're gonna put another plate. Hit these pieces, right? Uh, my goal right now, what I'm doing, is to stay strong. So I might. You see me uh, as I go heavier. I go lighter. Uh, I go. I go less reps. But right now, I'll do another ten reps, right? So I can keep that blood flowing, keep that strength. My job is to keep strength, keep power. You know, I always tell people, if you see me chewing pounds, something wrong, right? Something wrong. So you better something wrong. So my job is to stay strong, stay thick, stay powerful. That's what my job is. Um, eat, eat halfway decent. You know, uh, people want to, oh, bro. You know, it's all about being powerful, all about being have your self-esteem, all about being being the best. You gotta believe that you're the best. You gotta believe that no one can beat you, mentally or physically, right? That's what you gotta be. That you can walk up in anywhere, in a mall, store, whatever. You walk in that store, people look like, damn, this guy getting the work in. And that's what we want. That's our goals. For them to look at you and say, you know what? They've been getting the work in. Whether you're a woman, male, teenager, they can say you're getting the work in. I have had guys that came to me while I'm benching 80 pounds. Within six or seven months, I had them people benching over 300 pounds. That's cause they were getting the work in. It's due, it was due to them putting the work in at the same time, me knowing what to do and what to say, how to get them right. Make sure they eat what they're supposed to eat. Make sure they put that protein in their body like they're supposed to, right? Make people aware of just weight training. So, see, you know, a lot of people are not doing it. Not, there's a lot of people make excuses why they can't do it. Just to bring self awareness to yourself, to people, uh, to make sure that we let people know that you know you can you can uh, be something, right? You can have that that mental toughness. And I see it more and more in the younger people, and, and, and how they're so shy, and don't want to go and get involved until they. they down in their looks and down in this way, I believe that when you get into this weight training and you believe in yourself, you don't have a problem going there, meeting, meeting, meeting that, meeting your next boss. You don't have a problem going to do a do a do a oral, 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 oral presentation, right? Again, I grew up, I grew up stuttering, and people teased me in class, but I knew when I started working out, it gave me confidence. This was the sixth grade. I was 11 years old, and they would tease me in class about my stuttering. And, and, and I, I could have I could have faltered and, and then came weak and said, "No way, I'm gonna let that bother me." But no, I turned it around. So I'm gonna get in this weight room, go get these muscles, and I'm gonna let these guys know that uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I can do this. You know, I had a strong mother that wouldn't let me fail. My mother wouldn't let me fail. You know, so that's why you always see me representing CMD, which is Camden. I'm gonna represent it, represent my mother. I know what for, for, for my mother, being a strong woman that raised seven kids of her own. I wouldn't be here. She raised seven of us to do what we had to do. Never, none of us got locked up. All of us made it out of Camden. Can't have a person, a, 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 a woman raising seven kids on welfare, offered three thousand dollars a year with food stamps. A lot of people don't make it. So I had a great mom. And I know by the, by the grace of God, her guidance, right? 
this, I, 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 this why I'm here. You know, you know my, my, my father was around, but he wasn't like my mom. My mother, my mother was that, was, was at least my mother was that dude. She was that girl. Code name was Glow. Everybody knows why I call it Glow. That's why it's called Glow Power. Because the power of Glow got me to be where I am today. But that's why I will always uplift her. That's why she's always the woman in my life. Always, not one day I don't think about that woman. You know, and it's about strength. People say that women can't raise men. My, my mother raised four good men. You know, I gotta give her credit for that. And and, 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 and three, and, uh, and, and, and three girls, uh, my, my three sisters, and my, my, my sister, may she rest in peace, Pam. All of us was all blessed to have her in our lives. I understand it in. What she was, what she was doing, but as I got older, become a man, start raising my own kids, I understand why she was doing what she was doing. Big ups to her. Keeping us, keeping us off those corners in Campbell. Uh, this is, again, this is called Coast Grips. Again, this is for the back of our arms to tighten it up. Women, you want your arms tight. Men, you want your arms tight. You don't want to be walking around and stuff shaking like the leaves. Or well, you're saying you can't wear uh, a sleeveless shirt or a sleeveless dress because your arms are shaking, right? Triceps was build it up. Again, gotta take our protein, right? Gotta take our carbs with the protein, so we can send the so we can send the carbs and the protein to the muscle to heal the muscles. But every time we working out, it's like that muscle, like somebody taking a knife to our muscles and stabbing, it, like somebody tenderizing meat. That's what happens to our muscles. And what we do with the protein, those protein goes in there and heal the muscles. And by when we're resting, that's when we grow, right? That's when we get the muscles. That's when you get the cuts. But you gotta put the work in. See, this is uh, this is two thirty right here. So we're going to do this for 10 reps, knock this piece out, right? Take on PEDs. Uh, people, PEDs are performance enhancing drugs for people who don't know what that means. Uh, I never taken them, never needed them because I was always big and strong always. Collard greens, <laughs> my mom, collard greens, chicken, and spaghetti, right? This would, uh, this is what my mother always uh, pretty much fed us, right? Uh, growing up in Camden, uh, you know, this is what she raised us on. Collard greens, collard greens, spaghetti. That was my little witch call. And that's what we, we ate. Uh, that's what she could afford it for, right? But for those who do that, I believe that's their business. If they want to do that to their body, you know, I would, I would believe that in the long run, something's going to happen with it. A lot of people want that right now. What I mean by right, that right, when they want that right now, the ego gets in the way, and they want that. They, you know, it's such a feeling they're getting from being everybody. Look, all eyes on me, right? And that's what we always say. You know, um, I always say that when people have the ego problem, I always say they never heard the cheers of the crowd, meaning they never had no one cheer them on before. Never had no one say, "Hey, man, you look good. You look great." Or they out there cheering for you, and that's such a great. That's such a great high. That, to me, it's better than any, 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 I guess, drugs somebody could take. I don't think I never took drugs. But to me, if so for someone to praise you like that and to cheer you on, it's a great feeling. But you have to be able to be humble. You have to be able to handle that feeling, right? Because it's a great feeling now, right? That is the most natural high when someone's praising you. But can you handle that praise? Everybody can handle it. A lot of people have ego problems. Men, women, they have ego problems. Now, I always say, I always say, the worst thing in the world is the male ego. If you can't control your ego, it's a problem. Whether you're in high school, pop Warner, college, professional, whatever you're doing in life, it could be that you became a supervisor in your job, whether it's law enforcement, whatever. If you can't control your ego, 
you will have problems. You have to be that same person, right? Now, I always say the people who become that same person, I always can tell a person who played sports before. They have that team spirit attitude, and they don't have an ego problem. But those who haven't played sports before, I can always tell that they have not played before, but they're selfish. They have the ego problem. So we got to get nip that, nip that up, out the bud, right? That comes from people telling them, that's coming from teaching. If you don't know, you don't know. But you have to be taught this kind of stuff, right? That just because you, everybody cheering you on, blah, 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 that means you go crazy, right? And forget who you are. So remain humble. I always say, I always taught my kids when I coach football, or whatever, but, uh, my son, my, my, my kids, be corny. And nothing wrong with being corny. Stay corny. You want to stay corny. Because being corny meaning that you're being that quiet dude in the class, but you're going to handle your business, right? I always tell them, you take care of your business now, you will have success later. Take care of your business now, you will have success later. But if you don't take care of your business, you're going to have problems, right? And to do this, my, everybody, believe me, everybody meant to do this, right? I always ask myself, what's, what's my motivation, right? My motivation to do this is to keep living. To keep living. That's my motivation, to keep living. To see my kids have kids, right? See my grandkids get married, right? That's what it's all about. Seeing my grandkids get married. But that's because I took care of my business. I stayed in the weight room. I stayed, you know, true to myself. I watched what I ate, right? At the same time, when people, when I don't want to get up in the morning, when I don't want to come down in the basement and work out, I'm doing it, right? You're doing the things that other people won't do. That what makes you different. That mental toughness, that's what it's all about. That mental toughness. I see that my kids from watching, they do that, do they got it from me and my mothers, right? They do the same thing, right? When I was just growing up, I would have them sitting out here in the gym watching. My kids would come from St. Louis. I had them participating, taking them to the gym. And then these guys are gym, gym rats, right? Because that's what they've seen. Right? You gotta be able to do this stuff. It ain't, it ain't easy, right? But if you wanna live, if you wanna be that person, if you wanna be great on your job, great at your sport, whatever you wanna do, if you wanna be great, get in this weight room. I got you. But you have to be motivated. You have to want it. You can't sit around, oh, why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Be, trust me, right? This is why we're doing this. Right, another sip, dude. Let me get this piece in. Again, these are triceps. We want to make sure that the feet are stay planted on the ground. We want to make sure that we um, have our hands right. Hands got to be right. Knuckles should be scraping the nipples on your chest. And uh, we control and bring it down and explode at the top. Breathe in, breathe out. Make sure that we do these reps, everything is rhythm, right? Bring it down under control, power up. Everything's power, right? I always make my first instinct that someone's coming at me is to get them off my body, right? And I know by me benching, when I'm benching, that's gonna help me. Get them off my body, then I, then I can position myself and do what I gotta do, right? But uh, also in this uh, channel, we will also be uh, having some podcasts with uh, different athletes, right? Uh, different regular people. When I mean my regular people, I mean that people like me and you, regular jobs, right? Whether they are postmen, whether they electricians, whatever, teachers, whatever, uh, we wouldn't be able to have a discussion about life, what's going on in life, and how do we help fix it, right? As people, right? How do we help fix it as people? Well, what are the solutions, right? Not being a problem, but a solution. And that's so important, right? Not being part of the problem, but us being part of the solution, right? Being positive, right? We all want to be positive in life. This is all about. So I see all these, I see a lot of these podcasts where they have these these athletes, right? I get it. Believe me, I, 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 like, I like watching them too. I watch podcasts. Oh wow, that's 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 the RC them guys from ESPN, or oh, that's uh, 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 Marshall from 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 the Denver Broncos. I get it, right? They, they, the people want to see that because of who they are, right? But I believe a guy like me, the regular person. And dealing with life every day, dealing with going to work every day, normal job, right? And still got to get this in. That's what makes me different. Go to work every day, 40 hours a week plus, whatever you got to do. Come still, get this get this working at 59 years old. 
That what makes me different than those guys, right? That what makes me different. I'm working every day. At the same time, I come do what I got to do, get this work, get this work in, right? Let's see them guys at 59 years old look as good as me. You ain't about to say if you have a stomach here, yeah, but know what? I'm a powerful dude. You better, you better believe that, right? So we gonna get this work in. Now I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go up a little weight. I'm gonna go go do 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 uh, five reps. When I do five reps, I uh, said five reps for me is for power, right? That's your strength. Ten reps will be uh, won't give you the blood flowing. Uh, if you want to cut up, you get the ten reps in. Low reps get you power, right? I want low reps right now to keep my power, right? As long as I keep my power, I'm getting 70 years old. My mind, my my mind is to stay powerful, right? And by doing that, in this staying in this gym, being consistent, right? When you don't want to be in the gym, you still come to the gym. That what makes us different than anybody else, right? Again, like I said, them guys, it's great watching Ocho Cinco and them guys on the podcast, and they have them guys with T.O. and them on there. And I watch the one up in smoke with the basketball players, right? And I watch the ones with uh, Pac-Man Jones and them guys. Yeah. They, they, they look good because they that's, that's their job, right? They, they, no. I still got to work out, right? I still got to go to work every day, right? Put into a pension, right? I still got to make sure I make time, time up for me to train, right? Now, if they tell me, Dougie, hey, you got to work all the time, then bro, I got to work all the time. But at the same time, I'm adjusting. I'm adjusting what I do, what I got to do, right? I know the last time them guys worked all the time, right? So that's what makes, us, that's what makes me different, these guys, right? I'm a real person going through this. Not, nobody, not somebody that you see on TV, but somebody that's working a job every day like you, five days a week, 40 hours a week, same time, spreading positive knowledge to, to the peoples, right? That's what it's all about. Love, right? We have to show love to each other. And that's what we're doing with this, with this, with this, with this, with this channel. We want to show love to people. We want to, we want to, at the same time, put out there in the, in the universe about positive energy, right? Positive health, right? Positive mental health, right? As we see now, people's mental health is, 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 is crazy, right? But we got to make sure that we, we help people with their mental health, right? That's, that's important. We can't look down like this is the 70s. This ain't the 70s no more. This is the 2020, 22. We need to help these people. Who ever had problems like that, let's help them. Let's not make fun of them. Let's help them. That's what it's all about, love. And I tell people, hey, I, I, I might be might, oh, you a big guy. I'm the first one to tell you, hey, bro, I love you. That's what it's all about. It doesn't make you soft. You tell somebody you love him or he weak, whatever. That's your weakness if you think somebody's weak to tell them they love you, right? I tell a person, man, hey, I love you. And I mean it. I can see you I can see you in, in bump up Egypt in front of whoever. I'm going to tell you I love you. That's what it's all about. That's what's about being. That's what's about being a person, right? That's what it's all about, being true and being real. And this whole workout, right, and this whole training, whole thing, Comes back to self-esteem, right? When you know you're real, and you know that you've done everything you can to be that person, that dude, everything's okay. You sleep all night. Plus, with that sleep apnea machine, I'm telling you, everybody, go out and get that thing done. Believe me, that's the best thing in the world. In. Keep in, ladies. If you wanna. Uh, even more in-depth stuff that, that, that we can do for you guys. I have stuff for, for, for the ladies where the weight is lighting, right? We got machines, right? We got machines to, to, to do light, to, to light, do a light workout. Um, it's all about... It's all about putting the time, right? All about putting the work in. We got to put the work in. You gotta put the work in. If you don't put the work in, you're not gonna have no no gains, no results. It was all about, you know, us getting the work in, us putting the work in, us putting the work in, uh, just doing what we gotta do, you know. Uh, some days you won't wanna do it, right? But that what makes you different by you putting the work in when, when you don't wanna put it in. And that's how you have your games, you know? Uh, that's what it's all about, you know? Uh, becoming better in life. Uh, overall health, right? You know, you go into the doctors, make sure you're good. Make sure that you, you get those physicals, right? A lot of times, these men, we have our, stigmatism, our, our stigmatisms, that, our stigma, stigmas that 
we going to see the doctor. Because we're afraid that we find out we, something, we have something that we don't want to have. That is so ignorant. Go there. Go out and see the doctor. Get, get, get your checkups, right? Get your checkups, right? Uh, you know, they got them all over the place for these symptoms where you can get your, your blood work done, your heart work done, whatever you got to get done. Go get it done. You know, go get your, what's going on. Like I said, go get your endonosomies done, your colonoscopies done. We don't want no colon cancer, cancer sneaking up on no one. We don't want no prostate sneaking up on us men, right? Ladies, go, go get your, your your yearly checkups. That's important too, right? Not only for men get our prostate check, but for women get your cold, your, your yearly, yearly checkups. You know, you're over, you know, get, get your uh, past mirrors done. That's important. You know, don't say I ain't had one in three years. Shame on you. If you haven't had your past mirror in three years, shame on you. What is wrong? As my son would say, what is wrong with you? That piece done. Got insurance? No, you got insurance. They, they, they got all kind of stuff out here if you go get get help. With, 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 get, get medical, right? You get Medicaid, Medicare, whatever it is, whichever one it is, right? Go get that piece done. Go get yourself checked up. Go get your breast 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 exams done. That's important. We see breast cancer is running crazy. I don't know it's the food, the drink, what's going on, but it's running crazy. So go get your breast exams. Should you do your self checks in, in the shower? You know. No funny business. Just go get your section. You can, you know, check yourself out. Feel something wrong. Go, 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 go to a GYN. Handle, go handle your business. Men, go handle our business with our prostate exams and all that stuff we gotta get done. All right? This is uh 280 right here. We're gonna handle this piece for five. All right? Let's get this work in. Again, that's transfer work. It's a couple called that. Close grips. Best press you out here. Close grips you in here. That's the difference, right? Bring it down, straight down. Let my, my knuckles touch my nipples. Explode. Uh, we're going this so we can tighten the tighten the back of this up, back arms, tricep, tack and tackle that so we don't have shaky arms, right? That's why power comes from. Guys want their bench press up. Gotta do our close grips, right? Gotta do our tricep work, right? That's what will get you power, right? You gotta have muscle back there. You can't have a have a, a flabby arm. It's like that flabby arm shaking around here. Women with those sleeveless shirts on, sleeveless sleeve, sleeveless dresses on, and Arm shaking like the wind. Not a good look. Keep me real. You know, and that's the whole reason why we do it. Put the time in, put the work in. I see a lot of women eating good, do what they gotta do, but still have them arms like that, right? They have it like that because they're not doing the work. Do the light, do the light, do the light work, right? Do the light push downs. What do you gotta do? Um, do some push ups, right? But if you don't make that muscle active, how's this gonna happen? Like anything in life, if you don't do, you don't put the work in it. That's, that's what happens, right? You know, uh, we have to just be consistent. Be consistent in what you do. You have to be consistent in what you do in life, right? You have to be consistent. I don't care, you know, anything. If you want to be great at something. You have to be consistent. And that's our job. My job is to make sure that I keep you motivated, keep you consistent with your diet, with your workout, right? You know, you're getting your rest. That's the whole point. That all works on all together. I try to make sure I get anywhere from seven to nine hours of sleep a night. Unless I work worked over and I got a camp, I can't show it, and I just train a little later that day, whatever. But uh, I try to get that in because I know I'm gonna have I'm gonna have reward in, in the end, right? So uh, ain't no running in the street. I would rather I rather sit on the couch and fall asleep watching the sports center uh, than for me to be out there running running in the streets, right? So uh, it's, it's all about you know making choices, right? Gotta make good choices, right? You gotta make choices. Uh, people ask me, uh, Dougie, how big are your arms? Well, uh, my arms are uh, my, my my left arm is 20 and a half, 20, 22 and a half inches. 
and my right arm is 23 inches. So, again, I've been putting the work in, right? My thighs is 34 inches, right? Putting the work in. Um, like I said, you know, my, 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 my mindset is that I still train like I'm balling. And that's my mindset. Because I don't know, I know I'm never going to be a small man. But since I can't never be a small man, if I be a small man, I always tell people something wrong with me. If you see me at 200 pounds, bro, something wrong. Uh, I think the last time I weighed 200 pounds, I was uh, eighth grade. And um, guess, I guess I guess it was from the spaghetti and the collard greens and, and chicken my mom was making all the time. But at the same time, I always stayed in the weight room. Stayed in the weight room. Because my job is always be powerful. Can't lose. That's my mindset. Can't lose. Can't lose in this weight room. Can't lose in life. Your mindset has to be strong. Your mindset has to be mentally, mentally tough. Everything has to be mentally, mentally tough. It comes back down to the gym, right? Gym, this gym builds self-esteem. That's why we're here. Build our self-esteem, right? Then to, 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 to where the, we are, know that we are the best thing in the world. We're going to stay motivated. But at the same time we stay motivated, we're going to stay humble. The key thing is being humble. The key thing is teaching. That's the key, right? Everybody don't don't know what to do. That's my job here to teach you. You want me to talk, holler at your boy. I got you. No, I'm not that sports figure you see on sports center. That sports figure you see, uh, no, no. I'm 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 that same old Joe that you see working with you side by side, going to work with you every morning on that highway. That's me. But this is real life. Again, you want to come to me, young men? Men, a man, whoever you want to come get your bench up, get your strength up, get your motive, get your mind right. Come holler at your boy. Like I said before, every person I have trained, every young man, or every man I have trained, left out of here benching over 300 pounds. So that's what you want in life. You want to be strong, you want to be powerful, get your mind right. Come see your boy. We're going to do this again for another five reps. This is our. Uh, at 280 piece, let's get this piece in. Close grips. Again, for, for the back of our arms. So you, so, so you can get that strength. So men, we could be bench pressing. You ain't at the sticking point where you struggle. Ah, you here. Ah, everything's rhythm. Everything's smooth. Everything's rhythm, right? Women, tighten the arms up, right? Close grips, triceps, tricep push downs. We do this so we tighten the arms up so you don't have that rest of the arm, the back of that arm shaking. When you can, when you're trying to wear a, a sleeveless dress, right? The whole thing is to be able to wear. Your goal is the next summer, next time, you're able to wear a sleeveless dress. And you can show some cuts. You want to show some cuts, right? That's the key, right? You want to look good, right? Same time you look good, you feel good, right? But at the same time too, you can't let your ego get in the way. All right, let's hit this other set. Remember, you want to keep your feet planted. On the ground, no feet coming up off the ground. Some guy be doing this mass and doing this mass and feet up on the feet, feet up on the on, on the on the on the bench. Bad habits. Don't follow those bad habits. Don't bad habits to get you in the hospital. Bad habits you can't be able to train. Okay? So we'll get this again. This is for power, this is for my explosion, this is to where that I can keep strong arms, the thick arms, the big muscles in the back. We call them triceps. Some people call it back arms. Again, let me tell you this, young men, men, women, don't do that unless you have a spot, all right? I do this because I've been doing this for a minute, and I'm not going to put myself in that position where I'm going to hurt myself. Well, I'm putting on too much weight, right? Uh, I don't. Make sure you have a spider when you do this. Oh, lifting heavy, start training in the gym like that. Make sure you have a spider, please. Don't do this at home without a spider, right? Uh, I do it like this because I'm not going to sit here and not train because I ain't got nobody to spot me. I've been making an excuse. So, lighten the weight up, handle my business. I'm gonna do. So we did. Uh, so we did 230, two sets of 10. Just did 280, two sets of five. We hit another set, and then we go inside 
the other room where we're gonna do our triceps on the machine for tricep push downs, right? When we do that to uh, be heavy, well, like when we do it so we can cut it up a little bit, right? The tricep for the isolation, isolate on the tricep. That's what we're doing. When we do the tricep push down, we can do rope tearaways, we can do the V bar push down. We do that to isolate the muscle, right? Isolate the muscle so we can get that cut, right? You want to cut, you want to look good. Again, like I said, men, we do it so we get the strength for our bench press, get strength for our tries, right? Strength so we get past those sticking points. Women, you want to do it, lighten that weight up, do them high reps so you can tighten that muscle up to where that you can wear a sleeveless shirt, a sleeveless dress to where that you look good. So when you walk around in the summertime, that's your nice hat on the whole nine yards with the beach, what are you doing, what are you doing, baby suit, whatever. You want them nice, nice, nice triceps, right? Uh, one next day, the next time we do, we, we, we do bicep work, right? We do the bicep work, so you front, do the bicep, right? Biceps in the front, this is your bicep right here. Like people say, I'm a pop pie, I'm gonna make muscles, I'm gonna do muscles, that's your bicep. Bicep is here, right? Tricep is in the back, right? Tricep, you got three heads, bicep, you got two heads on the, on the muscle, right? So, you know, so that's what it's all about. You know, uh, we, we, do, we do this, you know, because you just want to be consistent, staying humble, you know, because when, when, you're going you're gonna to have games. When you have these games, you have to be humble. Okay? You have to be humble. Otherwise, you're going to get yourself in trouble. I always say the worst thing in the world is the male ego. If you can't control your ego, you're going to have problems. Take care of your business, control your ego. Right? Take care of your business, control your ego. You know, put that ego to the side. The ego gets you jammed up. Alright? Put a diamond here. Do a couple of these reps with, with 300 so we can get this close grip in to get that power, right? It's about it's just about just staying strong, you know. Not about not lifting too heavy, but just staying strong, staying in the moment, staying in the gym, so we can keep that power, right? My job is to be powerful. My job is to stay healthy, right? To be around for my family, be around for my grandkids that have to be up to my so see my to see my grandkids get married. That's the key. I don't know if I'm not gonna, gonna be around seeing them have kids, but being around to see them get married, right? Uh, my, my granddaughter, and my grandson, you know, and that, that's what's so cool, right? Who thought that uh, I, I I I I sent my uh, uh, my, my, my my granddaughter holler back at me said that that's cool, pop pop. That's what's up. That's what's up. Don't be able to see you, right? Some people are 59 didn't make it, right? So I'm blessed and thankful that I'm still around to be able to train, right? All right, let's, let's put a dime on this piece and get this, and get, and get out of this part of the gym, go to the other side of the gym, all Some gyms, you know, some gyms, you, know, you see people dropping weights all over the place, right? In my, my gym, I don't allow that, right? Uh, where, wherever I went to, wherever I trained at, I never, I, I never liked that, you know, because people, I don't believe when people are doing that, they're trying to they want some attention when they're dropping weights, more attention. You want everybody, all eyes on me. Again, ego problem. Uh, so we don't, we don't drop gym, we don't drop weights in the gym. I said, I always said, if you can't put them back, don't pick them up. Real simple. If you got to drop them dumbbells or drop any type of weight, whatever, just, just don't, don't touch it. Uh, and, oh, it's okay to fart in my gym. It's okay to fart in the gym. It's okay. That's what we do. Fart, fart in the gym. Right. You ain't got to hold it in. Mess around and fall out in this piece. If you got to fart, fart. It's okay. It's, uh, but seriously, no jump, no dropping weights in the gym. Tear, if you're tearing, tearing somebody's floor up, trying to get some attention, who, 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 what you doing here, man? Stop it. It's going to train, train. Real simple. Um, we're going we're gonna, to uh, hit this 300. Go inside uh, another part of the gym. And uh, we're going to do uh, some tricep uh, push downs. And, and, and we show the technique on how uh, we should do this, how it's good for the arms, and how, how women can really concentrate on that back arm, right? You're going to try to on that back arm, on tricep, so you can tighten it up, so you can wear a dress. So you wear that sleeveless dress, so you look in the hand, 
look beautiful for your husband or your boyfriend, right? You just want to, no, but you might not have a boyfriend. You might, you might just want to be sexy, right? You want to look sexy. It's okay to look sexy. That's, that's, again, that's self-esteem. As long as you feel good about yourself, it doesn't matter who, no matter who it is, your husband, your boyfriend, whoever, as long as you feel good, and vice versa for the dude, as long as you feel good about yourself, it doesn't matter who likes it. As long as you feel good, that's what it's all about. Us feeling good about ourselves, right? You gotta feel good about yourself. You can't worry about what somebody thinks about you. Worry about what people think about you, you have problems. My mother's always telling me, you better not worry about what, some, about what they think about you, but I think about you. I know otherwise she's gonna come get me, right? So that's another, I always was, was a sticking point in my life, knowing that she always told me, don't worry about what people think about you. Worry about what you think about yourself. And that was so important. That stayed with me too No, that, that's again, start to self-esteem. That comes building as a, a little kid. Your parents teaching you that, right? Your parents teaching you that. That's so important. Don't worry about what people think about you. When you start worrying about what people think about you, that's when you start going downhill. That's when that extra stress that you don't need comes in there. You worry about what people think about you. No, you can't worry what people think about you. Old saying, but they old, the old cliche saying they say, they, 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 they talked about Jesus and he was perfect. Right? I know I'm not perfect. I know I don't look perfect. But I believe I look perfect. That's all that matters. Yeah, yeah, I got a ball head. Yeah. I got a big stomach. Yeah. But I'm powerful. That's all that matters. And I feel good. Let's get this 300 pound piece in. Let's knock, let's knock this piece out, guys. Again, thank you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. You know, I would truly appreciate it. You know, uh, we got to get this out. We got to get this word out to everyone. To the to the to the normal to the regular people, no, we are not uh, celebrities. No, no, we're not politicians. No, we are normal people. We deserve to be look good too. We deserve to have great self esteem, right? This was all about us feeling good about ourselves. Us taking time out to take time out hour for ourselves to train. It don't give us a half hour. Give me a half hour. You won't you won't be talking as much, and you get it in, right? Go get that piece in. You deserve it. You deserve it to be, be to look good, to look great, to feel great. Doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Doesn't matter what you feel, what you, what you, what you think about yourself. That's what it's all about. Let's get this piece in. Again, my feet want to stay planted on the ground. I'm coming down under control. I'm going to push. All about power. All about power. Being under control, being safe, being healthy. Nice and slow, under control, push back up, power, right? Come down with that bar, you're breathing in, push back up, you're breathing out, right? Come down with the bar, you're breathing in, breathing out. You see, when I bring the bar down, my chest is rising, right? I want to have that, my, I want my, my, I want my back, you call scapulars, to touch each other. My job is to make, I come down with that bar, my scapulas are touching each other. So I can come back and do like a springboard, like a rub back and spring back up, right? That's where the power comes from. Coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. Scapulas touching each other and explode. Coming down, coming down, coming down. Feet pressing, feet pressing, feet pressing. Nipples touching, nipples, knuckles touching the nipples. And explode. It's all about. So when you come in and bring that bar, your job, my, my, my imaginary, my mind, my, my my vision, my head, my scapulars are trying to touch each other, right? I'm trying to make them do the old-fashioned bump from back in the day. Do the bump, do the bump. That's what I'm trying to make them do. When I get that, then, I, then I'm just using it as a springboard to explode at the top. Under control, feet stay planted. Your feet have to stay planted. Once one of those feet go up, you're going to have problems. You're going to hurt yourself. The more and more you do it, the more and more consistent you're going to be, muscle memory comes into effect. It's going to be like brushing your teeth in the morning. 
It's like riding a bike. The more and more you do it, the more and more you can be consistent with it, right? But again, if you need, holler at your boy. I need your help. I got you. Uh, again, please hit the, hit the subscribe button on this channel. The like button. Again, the, the name of this uh, channel is Glow Power CMD72. I truly appreciate you guys. And we're going to go to the other other part of the uh, gym. And we're going to what you call do the tricep push downs. Okay? What we're going to do first is clean this up. I always believe that you don't leave no weights on the gym. Leave no weights on the bar. Uh, a lot of people have bad habits in the gym. I'm leaving weights in the bar. Once the mouth's clean up, get messed. No, we don't do that. Mm -mm. So that's how you have accidents. People tripping over shit, tripping over weights and stuff. But you know what? Somebody in the hospital. So, we got to clean it up ourselves. That's important. Just, just good gym etiquette, right? You clean up after yourself. That's what you want. People don't realize that close grips are harder than bench pressing because your hands are in. Now you want to stay in this gym if you want to be around for a while. You know, then we're going to go into the other part of the gym. Excuse me. We're doing our tricep work. All right. This is the this is the machine we're gonna do our triceps on, right here. Uh, this is the ropes, right here, right. But I, the ropes are good. I like doing the the V bar also too. This is the V bar. V bar, you mean more? You concentrate. You do heavier weight with the V bar, right? Heavier weight with the V bar, right? Heavier weight. This is the, this is the ropes. Well, you can do tear with them. Like, you're here, and you bring it in here, and you just tear away. Tear away. Tear away. Tear away. Tear away. That's what we do. We're going to do the V-bar. Get this set right for us. We'll get you guys a good look. How we're going to do this piece. All right? So, this is a, uh, okay, let me show you something. This is the woman I keep talking about all the time. That's Glow. This is what this, this is a website is named after. That's the woman I always love. That woman I always remember. I always think about her every day. There's not one day I don't think about that woman. And uh, it's just that, you know, I'm just so grateful and so blessed to have had her in my life and as my mom, you know? And, uh, wow, so this is my best way to honor her, right? The people all over the world, whoever looks at this channel will see that glow and they say, damn, that was his mother, you know, and I think that's the best way for her to be honored, man. And I couldn't, came to me one night, about four o'clock in the morning, I woke up and I said, man, you know what? I'm going to call it glow power. Call this glow power. And that's what it is, man. Thank you, mom. Love you, girl. All right, let's get back to training. Okay. All right. So, 
I'm gonna take this off. Rope. Here. And here. We'll put them, put, put the little weight on this piece. Again, this is to isolate the tricep. This is the tricep, right? You want to keep the tricep, right? You want to get them cuts, right? So you figure most 300 pound men don't have this, right? But I wish I wouldn't be different. That's why I got the cuts like that. I'm putting the work in, putting the work in. That's that power, right? No. Putting the work in, putting that, putting that power, right? Putting that power in, right? Oh yeah, you see the husky piece. The power. See that 23 inch arm? That's what I'm talking about. Let's get it. Push down. I'm gonna push down all the way to the bottom. Put it to the middle of your chest. Push down again, right? Push down the middle of your bottom. Push down middle of the chest. I'm gonna change this camera in a minute. Put it in the front so you can see what after you're doing, okay? This is isolated. So I can keep the cuts. Right? Want me to keep the cuts? Let's see how this is right here. Put it like this so you can see what's going on. Can you see me? Here we go. Once you want you to be able to see the technique, right? Not even from the back, always from the front, right? You see how I'm coming down. All the way to the uh, to the bottom, but never. I tell people any exercise, you never want to extend your arms all the way, right? But you extend your arms all the way. That's how you get the tendonitis. So having an elbow problem. So having an elbow problem, can't get no work out of it, right? So that's what we want to do. We want to make sure to be coming down. You here, pushing. You bring it down. Come back up, middle of your chest, right? You bring it down, middle of your chest. You bring it down, move your chest. Let's get it in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. With these, I try to get myself maybe about two minute rest on this. You know, uh, key thing with this, like I said, we do tricep push downs. You can have it put the weight where you to isolate. It isolates the muscle, right? Isolating that tricep to so kid, you want it strong. You want the tricep, you want that tricep to stay strong. And the women, again, you want to isolate it so you can tighten that tricep up. So you can get that, that, that so you don't have that flab in the back of your arm. A lot of people don't want to talk about it. Let's keep it real. That's what it is. You want to wear that nice dress in the summertime? Get on these triceps. Get on your push-up work. Get your push-up game up, right? Get your mountain climbing game up. And I say mountain climbers, because mountain climbers, you have to hold your body up, right, to do your mountain climbers, right? So hold your body up, lean in rest position, getting that tricep stronger, getting that tricep stronger. That's what we want to do. You know, that's the whole reason why we're doing this, you know? Uh, again, being consistent with your diet, getting your protein in before you work out, you're taking your protein after you work out. Uh, again, you got to have a carb with that protein. Otherwise, you're not getting putting that carb in your body with protein. You just work out for nothing, right? Got to make sure that carb gets in the attacks, rise that protein into the muscle so it can grow. Got to get our rest. The rest is so important. We grow when we rest. Stay away from the sugar. And once in a while, you, like I said, treat yourself. What the sugar does, sugar takes away strength, right? We don't want to take away our strength. We want to gain. We, we trying to gain strength, right? That's why we do what we do. Get your set in. Remember? Pushing all the way down, middle of the chest, 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 down, middle of the chest. And what I try to do is where my knees are bent just a little bit, right? You don't want me here, right? You here? Oh, oh, oh no! Get that little, that little, kind of little bounce in your, in your knees, right? You need to get that rhythm, rhythm. Remember I said, early in the workout, everything's rhythm. 
So I'm able to talk and do this at the same time. Rhythm, right? All about rhythm. So no, that's, 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 that's what we want to get in. We're going to do a couple more of these sets. And then we're going to close out, uh, close out the video. Uh, again, please subscribe. Hit the like button. I truly appreciate you guys for even watching me. Right? You know, that's, that's a blessing. I uh, truly appreciate it. I believe this word is uh, helpful. It's needed. Uh, a lot of people won't do it. A lot of people won't speak the truth. Like I said, we will have podcasts also uh, with some with some, with some uh, real people on here, meaning the people that do everyday jobs like me and you. Not only the athletes, not only the pro athletes that we'll have on here uh, that plead, but ones the true people that do my everyday life shit, right? Dealing with jobs, dealing with husbands and wives, dealing with uh, dealing with bosses, right? This is what we have here, and people just talk about it, right? Talk about real stuff, right? Real, real men stuff. That's what it's all about, you know. Being able to talk about it, being able to be truthful about things, you know, and not worrying about what people are gonna say about you, you know. That's what it's all about. Uh, let's hit this other set. Remember again, put extending all the way down, not extending the arms to where you hurt your elbows, right? Bring it back up to the middle of your chest, hitting it again. Boom, right? This is what gets us those big arms. This is what gets us the cuts, right? This is what gets us those cuts, right? By you, witch call. See, that's why you get in the witch call. Get you the cuts, right? That's what gets you the cuts. So it's all about, right? Getting them cuts. All right, see that? That's that, 20, that's that 23 inch arm right there. Not bad for 59 years old, huh? Let's get it. Slam the weights. First of all, no one is my shit. I'm not gonna slam on stuff and break my stuff, but you gotta respect other people's equipment, right? You can't sit around and break people's stuff and enjoy it. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't cool. So, no slamming weights, no dropping weights, no slamming the machines. So, a lot of guys hit it in the gyms all the time. People slamming stuff. Ah, wow. What? I didn't want that attention. Nah, it's about being humble. Come in and do what you gotta do. You see a lot of guys in the gym dropping weights, yelling. And you got 50 bars on the pound, 50 pounds on the bar. Stop it. Again, want that attention. Never had it before. They want the Tupac version. All eyes on me. That's what they want. Let's keep it real. That's what they do. What they do. And we trying to. We don't want that. We want to stay humble. And come in the gym, do what we gotta do. We want to handle our business, right? And stay strong. Stay positive. We build our self-esteem. Right? What it's all about? Being humble, right? Throw the egos out the window. Once you have an ego problem, you're going to have problems in your life. Whether it's in your house, whether it's in your job. You believe people have problems with egos in the house, right? You know, the husband starts to get feeling good about himself. But you know what? Wife might be getting jealous of him. And people looking at him. Stop it. It's all about making ourselves better. It's all about wanting to feel better about yourself, right? Don't take that from a person they start feeling good about themselves, right? Sometimes people get jealous of that. People start feeling good about themselves, and they don't want to feel good because they don't feel good about themselves. Let them have that. They have that, 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 they have that moment, let them have that. Don't take that self-esteem from until they try to knock them down. Right? So jealousy, boy, that's a, that's, a, that's a mess, right? That's a weakness right there. So let them have that. That person feeling good about themselves, let them feel better. Like, big them up. And give, give them a hand clap. You know why? Because they took the time out to be in the gym. Give them a hand clap. I said, give them a soul clap. Give them that soul clap. Let's get this piece up. One more. Let me get another set. Another one of these sets. And we're going to shut it down. Because then you guys have a place to go. Places to be. All right? Remember, I'm pushing all the way down. Coming to the middle of your chest and pushing down again. Keeping that bend in your knees. Right? So you have that little bounce with you, right? So your knees don't be all extending. Your knees are sore next day hurting for whatever reason, right? Keep a little bounce. Remember, we get done this workout. And make sure you get your protein in, you get your carbs in, right? When we, we, we turn that half hour time, that's what we're doing. Got to get that, get, that, get that fuel back in your body so you can grow. This is the whole reason why we're doing it, to get muscle, right? To get power, right? Self-esteem, right? 
That's what it's all about. That's all we hear. That is why we hear. So many people lack that in our lives. So many people lack the self-esteem thing. They're lacking it. We got to get it back for them. Got to be confident in yourself. Got to be confident. Put that in your kids, right? Let your kids know, hey, you look good. I love you. I always know my daughter. I love you. You have, you have to love them. You know wrong when a man telling tell another man he love him? You know more man telling his son he love him? You know man was hugging his son, hugging his son, hugging his daughter? Cut that mess out. That old cliche mess that you can't tell somebody you love him. Cut it out. Oh, he saw because he tells somebody he love him. Cut it out. Come see me. All right, this is we'll signing off. Uh, this again, this is um, uh, hit, the, hit, the, hit the share button, hit the like button. Um, let me know you like it, okay? Subscribe button, subscribe button. Let me know that you subscribe. Subscribe for me. I appreciate you guys. Love you guys again. Like I said, not afraid to tell you I love you. Uh, stay humble, stay corny. I'll see you next time in the Glen, in, in the gym. And again, CMD for life. Love you. Love you, mom.